Good morning, I just say football family. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The 2024 watch list defensive recruits. If you haven't, there's other videos and other articles on deepdishfootball.com with the watch list for class of 2024. We are now getting into the defensive players, and this is a pretty eh, class. This uh this class, a lot of top-heavy classes, um, especially defensive tackle and defensive end and li li uh, not, not linebacker, but defensive back. Um, Spectrum-wise, very good at the beginning and then uh, tapers off at the end. Um, and again, for defensive tackle, defensive tackles, we had five Division I defensive tackles that were projected to be Division I defensive tackles their freshman, sophomore year. They have quit football, and I what I thought was going to be a, a historic defensive tackle class, and not, that, not so much. Defensive ends, again, a little bit top-heavy, Marquise Lightfoot. But again, um, it just, it, it's just the changing of times. you got to accept it. Uh, and again, you're going to start seeing a lot more breakout defensive players every year on their senior season when you have a lot of players that change from offense to defense. Coaches put them on defense, and that's when they start getting offers. You're going to see, we saw it last year and the year before that with the players, a lot of offensive players being moved to the defensive side of the ball and getting offers. I see this defensive side of the ball getting a lot more offers when we get after week nine. So it's going to be very interesting. A lot of especially FCS offers too. So, again, my name is Pierre Lombre, a.k.a. Coach Big Pete, publisher of Deep Dish Football and deepdishfootball.com. Make sure you follow Deep Dish Football on Twitter and uh, Facebook and Instagram, also on TikTok. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Again, a quick reminder, and I'm going to remind you guys uh, every time in this video, um, names will be added weekly. Make sure you fill out the Deep Dish Football Recruiting Questionnaire. Make sure I have your information on the deepdishfootball.com. The Deep Dish Football Recruiting Questionnaire is on top of the website. Fill it out. Email me the information. Email me the information. I have to say that again. Um, it's not a form. It's a copy and, copy and paste the questions on the email and send the answers. Also, again, um, this is March 31st. 23, 2023, it is 10.51 a.m. If you're watching this in May, June, July, there have been names added to the list. Make sure you check out the watch list on deepdishfootball.com. It says Coach Big Pete watch list. Uh, the little tab, click on it, and you will see the watch list. All right, so we get started. We get into the Illinois defensive tackles, class of 2024. And again, very top-heavy. Um... One historic defensive tackle, and the rest, very good, very good, but again, very top-heavy. Tavon Rice, Mount Carmel, um, great, great run stuffer. like to see a little bit more of his pass rushing, but he's another defensive tackle. Again, Mount Carmel, at least I swear, has one defensive tackle every one, two years. And this kid is the real deal, Tavon Rice out of Mount Carmel. Next one, bit of a surprise. And the surprise is, he plays defensive tackle, small school Princeton, Bennett Williams. He's a hell of a player, uh, top defensive tackle in the States. Already got a, a one Division One offer. He's going to get more Division One offers. But the crazy thing is, is that he is not really on the defensive end side of the ball. You really rarely see that for small schools. Usually they start on a defensive end. Very impressive, Mr. Bennett Williams out of Princeton. Good acceleration, great on-field IQ as well. And good upper body strength too. Um, like a little bit see more of his footwork, a little bit more on the agility side. But Bennett Williams is the real deal. Very impressed with this young man. Very impressed. Um, was sup supposed to be a secret for some of the FBS schools. They wanted to keep him a secret. Well, the secret burst. And uh, he is the real deal. Next one, Jordan Stewart, Centennial. Centennial, I swear they have maybe one or two guys every year now. Uh, but Jordan Stewart, uh, Jordan Stewart is the real deal. Um, very raw, very, very raw. But I got to say more with this kid. If he gets more of a, especially in his development with his arm fighting technique um, and especially run stuffing, Jordan Stewart could be the next big defensive tackle coming out of Central Illinois. 
Next one, another raw player as well. Jordan Buckley, Batavia. Very interesting with this kid. Very, very interesting. Love his footwork. Love his handwork. Still, he he's still not filled out into his body. You can see it, especially in some of his in some of the plays too. Um, especially the awkwardness. And you see it a lot, especially in younger defensive linemen. Again, linemen, for some reason, it, it takes a longer time and completely understandable. But Jordan Buckley out of Batavia could be that big deal. He's going to be a big-time uh, uh, big time defensive lineman for Batavia, especially going against highly, um, highly talented offensive lines in that Duquesne conference. Jordan Buckley is one of them. Next one, and this is the second-best defensive tackle in the state of Illinois. A national spotlighted player, Dylan Johnson, Julia Catholic. I love defensive linemen that can wrestle. He's also a star wrestler. Dylan Johnson out of Julia Catholic is that dude. He is unbelievable. One of the most polished defensive tackles in, in actually in the country. To be honest with you in country, because I was talking to one of the defensive uh, defensive line uh, college coaches, and he was telling me the kid is unbelievable. He looks like a sophomore in college. Dylan Johnson out of Julia Catholic is a kid that you must know about. Um, and he's getting the offers. He's going to get more offers. Just overall impressed. And I love when defensive tackles wrestle because, again, it's nothing but a, it's nothing but an arm battle and leverage when you're a defensive tackle and you're creating piles in it. And you have to close off those gaps. That's the most important thing. Next one, Sermaine Campbell out of Rich Township. Unbelievable, unbelievable, just from what he was able to do his sophomore season, now he's going into his junior season, very impressed, had a couple few questions about him, he answered them automatically, I've been completely impressed with Sermaine Cable from Rich Township, this guy has all of the tools, he is definitely a player to watch, he also plays a little bit of offensive line too, but definitely get that you keep an eye out for. Next one, Porter Mill, uh, Millhitch. I will mispronounce names. I apologize. I sound like the cookie monster. Okay, I apologize. Porter uh, Mischlick out of Burlington Central. Another impressive player. Very impressive player. Um, I, see, I see him again. Another polished defensive tackle. Plays a little bit defensive end too. Um, but I really like his ability, especially to read the play, um, especially with his head, especially when he fires out of snaps. A lot of defensive tackles, they still got the good old-fashioned head on the bottom and this. Great eyes, good on-field IQ. Really like poor Millhitch. He's going to be a late riser, especially into the summer. A lot of people need to keep an eye out for poor Millhitch. Again, Burlington Central are doing a wonderful job with their linemen. Next one, Brian Olsen, Providence linebacker, defensive tackle. The kid just does it all, hustle. And that's all you ask for in a defensive tackle is there's a lot of defensive tackles. They got the size, they got the speed, but again, they just they don't have that, mm, that passion. Brian Olsen has one that has that. And Providence Catholic, Brian Olsen's got it. Um, and I'm very impressed also. Uh, looking overall, looking at his junior year of his athleticism, very impressed with that too. Underrated in his athleticism. Um, and he just, he's got his technique down to the T. And you don't see that in a lot of defensive tackles, but Brian Olsen is one of them. Definitely a kid to keep an eye out for. All right, uh, next one. And we're talking about another polished defensive tackle. already got some offers. Very impressed with this young man. Very impressed with this man. Joe Kelly, Loyola Academy. Um, Especially coming into his uh, week, I think it was like week eight, week nine for Lyle Academy. Joe Kelly has been the real deal. Again, very, very impressed, especially with his footwork um, and his leverage. You don't have a lot of defensive tackles that do that. And I said that before. The leverage is the big thing. You see a lot of defensive tackles, they stand straight up and get knocked on their ass. They're only good for one or two plays in the game. Joe Kelly is that dude. So, Joe Kelly from Lyle Academy, he's got some offers. He's going to get more offers. But Joe Kelly out of Academy is the real deal. Next one, Jonathan Mayfield, Hoffman Estates. This kid, extremely raw. But the potential is sky high for this man. Jonathan Mayfield has a shot to be that top third, 
three defensive tackles in the state of Illinois for class 2024. Again, it's how good he wants to be. Jonathan Mayfield is the real deal. We keep a very close eye on that kid. Next one, a star. Uh, it put in up some big stats. Aiden Malone, Aurora Christian, also plays a little bit of offensive line too. But Aiden Malone, another impressive young man. Oh, he's a hitter. He is a hitter. He'll, he'll hit that quarterback so hard, he'll take his girl to the homecoming. That's how hard he hits. Aiden Malone is the real deal. Definitely kid to keep an eye out for. Next one, Lamar Thomas. Oswego. Lamar Thomas out of Oswego. Um, looked at his film because I, I was looking for defensive tackles everywhere. And I was like, he's got it. He's he's definitely got it. Lamar Thomas, um, nice quick punch. I really like his ability, especially uh, for squaring up his hips against the offensive linemen. Still raw, but definitely hit to keep an eye out for Lamar Thomas. Next one, the best. The best in the state of Illinois, the number one recruit in the state of Illinois by my uh, by me, Justin Scott, St. Ignatius. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, he is that kid. He is that dude. He is that person. He is going to be unbelievable in college. I'm just overall impressed with his athleticism, overall impressed with his on-field IQ, overall impressed with his technique. Again, they're still learning, but Justin Scott plays just so great. He is that damn good. He makes a mound, he makes a mound, and you that running back can't get through. But Justin Scott's a real deal. He literally his pass rushing technique unbelievable. Justin Scott player to keep an eye out for. Next one, Isaiah Griffith. Isaiah Griff, normal central. He's got the size, especially when we talk about that three man line. That a lot of people like to talk about. Um, very impressed with his technique. He's still, again, very raw. He has to work on his speed. I think that's a big key for him. Um, he definitely has to work on his speed and his agility. Uh, but he has the raw potential. So definitely can keep an eye for it. Next one, Darian Williams. Also plays a little bit on the uh, the inside, too. But Darian Williams, home of Flossmer, I like him inside. Um, unbelievable. Again, great speed rush. Great with his a great on field IQ, especially from I saw the difference from his sophomore to his junior season. Darren Williams is that dude. Is definitely a kid that you want to keep an eye out for uh, from Homewood Flossmore. All right, so we get into defensive ends, edge rushers, and we got again very top heavy. Um, <clears throat> not that mid range non. We have a lot of power five players. But we just don't have that middle range that we used to have in the years back for defensive ends edge rushers. McShawn Beeler, Simeon, he's the big one. He's the hot one. He's the, he's the winter spring uh, guy that's catching on fire. McShawn Beeler out of Simeon, edge rusher, unbelievable talent. Good acceleration. Knows the play. Reads out. Good pursuit, too. He's the real deal. Next one, Eddie Turek, Lions Township. Stud! Out of Lions Township, has got a bunch of offers. One off Michigan. I think he got off from another name, too. Eddie Turk is, the, is another big dog, a big space eater, and also, again, underrated pass rush. Next one, a big star that no one really is talking about, but he's got a bunch of FBS offers, and he's going to continue to get more. William DePape out of Moline. Wow. Unbelievable. Has the shot to be the number two defensive end in the state of Illinois. He is a talent. Moline, he's one of the best kept secrets in that area. He's one of the best. And again, he, he's like um, Charlie Lee uh, uh, Jagash, who went to, who's going to Notre Dame from, um, I'm trying to think, uh, Rockford Allman, Rock Island Allman. He's, the, he's that dude. William DePulp is going to be a special player. Next one, another secret player. Transfer from Wayne and Warrenville, South to Glenbar North. Samir Sanit, uh, again, I apologize if I uh, butcher the last names, but he is another highly athletic defensive end. He plays a little bit defensive defensive tackle, too, wherever they shift him, especially to, uh, to expose the weak spot of that offensive line. Samir Sanit is the real deal. Glenbar North, he's going to be another player. Another, another player that's going to catch fire later this this uh, going into spring, so going to summer, I'm sorry. Justin Lawton, Creep Monia, another kid. 
Another interesting kid. Highly athletic. Also a little bit of a linebacker, too, um, as he grows more. Um, still uncertain with his footwork. Again, it's something that's in a growing process. But Justin Long's that kid. Next one, Christopher Rozak Taft. I really am impressed with this kid. Again, still with his body and still with his movements. A um, little bit of a, a little bit on, heavy on the feet, but he's going to get better. But Christopher Rozak is that is that dude. Next one, this kid is a warrior. He's he he battles every snap. Aiden Gomez, St. Patrick. I really like this kid, Ed, Edge Rush out of St. Patrick and the Shamrocks. Again, we talk about kids that are heavy duty workers. They don't quit on plays. Aiden Gomez is that kid. He doesn't quit on plays. He's a hell of a playmaker. Very athletic. Um, and especially, I love his handwork. Aiden Gomez, don't sleep on me. Another one, Devin Van Ness, Barrington. A little bit undersized, a little seen as more of an edge rusher. Um, but again, <coughs> battles up for every snap. Um, Devin Van Ness, I'm expecting a big year from this kid. Um, especially look towards into the fall, especially for offers for, for Devin and Van Ness. Dexter Knee Camp, normal community high school. I had a brother that played linebacker. Uh, Dexter is going to be an absolute, uh, an absolute target for college coaches when we get into the summer. Very impressed with his strength and overall IQ, um, especially reading the play. But Dexter Neekamp from Normal is another kid that you got to keep an eye out for. Next one, Joe Barna, Whedon North. Kid's been getting some offers, got some offers in the late fall, uh, late fall early winter, and into spring. But Joe Barna from Whedon North, oh, he's been a terror in DuPage County. Joe Barna, um, Duquesne, Duquesne Conference, unbelievable. Very impressed. Uh, especially with his games against a lot of the more mobile offensive lines, ability to create havoc and chaos in the bat in the backfield. Um, he's done unbelievable, just a natural disruptor. Joe Barner from Wee North, player you must know about. Next one, Ivan Moore, Jr. out of Kenwood Academy. He has been um, uh, like Mark. He, he has been the. Uh, the unbelievable player that has risen after Marquise Lightfoot's beginning offers. They've been looking and said, who's this other uh, guy kid on the line? Ivan Moore Jr. out of Kenwood. He is going to reach that national spotlight pretty soon, probably in a month. Thanks, and big thanks also to Marquise Lightfoot as well. But <clears throat> Ivan Moore Jr., and what impresses me about Ivan, Ivan Moore Jr. is, again, uh, his ability, especially his strength. Very impressed with his strength and his ability, again, to read the play out just like Joe Barna. Next one, Edward Kentra, Hinsdale Central. A kid that's been highly talked about, a little more seen as the edge rusher, hybrid edge rusher. Um, again, good footwork, good hands. Overall, like to see a little bit more improvement on the agility side. But he has done a wonderful job, definitely a kid to keep an eye out for. Maverick Ole, Jim Rat, Naperville Central, kid's an absolute beast, especially if you look at that edge rusher hybrid side. Um, very impressed with his handwork. Very impressed, again, with his footwork, too. A great technician. Again, the bar set so high, especially for him. And it's going to be interesting to see how he develops from his junior film to his senior film, especially when we get into week three of his senior season. Next one, Caden O'Neill, uh, Marion Catholic. He got an offer. He's another big-time recruit to look out for as well. Um, overall, again, you still see some of the awkwardness without the big guys. Um, you want to see a little bit more, and he's growing into his body still. There was a couple few steps, in, especially with his, with his film where – the blocker just took him out of the play, but again, he's growing. And he's a lot of these guys, especially defensive linemen, they're growing into their bodies. Kane O'Neill is one of them, and when he does, he is going to be a serious problem. Next one, Cody Herringa, Herringa of Batavia. I, bur I, I, I butchered last names. I even butchered, butchered the word. Uh, I butchered last names. I apologize. Cody, again. An elite defensive uh, defensive end specialist that you got to keep an eye out for out of Batavia. Good frame, 
Um, I'm predicting a big season out of his senior season. And again, what's going to be interesting to see is how he improves on his strength and the mental side of the games. Ethan uh, Akegan out of Stevenson, another kid I've been talking about two years now, from two years, uh, two years now, from two years ago. Ethan is the real deal, especially looking at the edge rusher side of things. Um, battles for the battles against the offensive lineman. Good hand, good hand, uh, sorry, good hand work. Um, great footwork, a very good technical wise. A little bit more from agility ex- acceleration side. We'll see what happens. It's going to be very, very interesting, especially when you go against Lake Zurich to take a look at him. Ray Seffield, St. Rita. This kid, the potential's high, but he's still very raw. And he's got a couple defensive linemen that already graduated. I'm expecting a big season out of Ray Saffield. He's just like, he's a little bit um, like Cody uh, out of Batavia. Again, it's a wait and see, but Ray Saffield's the real deal. Next one, the number one guy, Marquise Lightfoot, Kenwood. Absolutely a beast, a monster. Uh, quarterbacks have nightmares about this man. Marquise Lightfoot is the real deal. He'll knock you on your ass. Um, unbelievable talent. And again, when he gets to college, he's going to work more on his technical skills. But he is the real deal. I am scared absolutely shitless out of this guy if I'm on offensive lineman. Marquise Lightfoot is the real deal. Next one, underrated. Got his first offer this week, I think, or this week or last week. Carlos Hazel did an interview with him on, uh, uh, for the dish. Very impressed with this young man. Very impressed with this young man. He is an absolute star for Tinley Park. Carlos Hazelwood, I love his hand fighting technique. Again, very, very raw. We're going to see where he grows into his senior year, but this kid is the real deal. Carlos Hazelwood from Tinley Park is a kid that you must know about. And again, um, for the defensive ends, when I say top heavy, and again, we saw it's the same way with the defense tackles. Um, just, it's going to be a way and see project when we get into later this thing, especially a lot of offensive linemen being moved to the defensive line, um, especially reserve offensive linemen, defensive line. I think they're going to get some more offers when we get into later uh, this fall. All right, now we get into linebackers. And again, just a quick reminder, names will be added to this watch list. This is March 31st, 23, 2023, so 11, 12 a.m. Names are going to be added. So, guys, take a chill pill. Names will be added. So if you're watching this in May and June, check the watch list. And again, Fill out the recruiting questionnaire. Make sure I have your information. If you like my work, feel free to leave a tip slash donation via PayPal or Vimo link if you like the work. If you don't like the work, well, I'm sorry. So <laughs> here we go. Class of 2024 linebackers, Kale Brazzini, Downers Grove North. Yes, he is the best linebacker in the state of Illinois right now, as of now. He's the but there's uh, some linebackers they can climb up there, but Kale Brazzini is the real deal. Unbelievable talent. Um, again, multi. Sports star and just that absolute aggressiveness, athleticism over the top. Kale Brazzini is that dude. Next one, Rocco DeLarnardi. Uh, De I'm going to butcher your last names. I apologize again. I sound like the cookie monster. I apologize. Rocco DeLarnardi out of Geneva. Uh, there's another Geneva guy. Uh, there's another Geneva linebacker too that I'm talking about. It, and I forgot there's because there's one that also plays a little bit defensive end. I forgot to see if my I'll, I'll talk about that later. I apologize. Um, Rocco Di Leonardi, um, underrated athleticism, unbelievable awareness, very imp- Tommy Diamond. That's the other guy's name. Rocco Di Leonardi, Tommy Diamond, <laughs> Diamond could be the two players, the two players that you see the most rising up the stock for recruits. Rocco Di Leonardi. Unbelievable athleticism, unbelievable strength. Very impressed for strength. Overall awareness, on field IQ, very impressed with that. He's going to be a huge riser. Kids, you got to keep it out for him. Jameson Clark, Lockport. Again, a little bit on the do- undersized, but he gets the job done. Very impressed with his coverage um, and overall 
uh, mental IQ for a linebacker. And again, IQ is very high for a linebacker, especially with these hybrid offenses that they have to face. Joey Colvillers of Elk Grove, he plays on offense, plays multiple spots. I really like him at linebacker. Unbelievable star. Had a big, tremendous season that no one knows about, but he is the real deal. And we're talking about another linebacker, Cole, uh, Cole Olsendorf, out of York. Another kid that was just an absolute lunch pail kid. Again, just basically stopping those plays, knowing where those plays were at. Unbelievable. Kid deserves to be talked about a lot more. Cole Ostendorf, out of York, is that deal. He is the real deal. He has had an unbelievable career so far at York. He's definitely going to be a late riser recruit that you got to check out for. Next one, Cooper Carraway. And we're talking about another guy. Still not getting respect that he deserves, but Cooper Carraway out of normal community high school. Unbelievable playmaking ability. Great speed. Good speed. Um, and again, good leverage, especially against the run. Cooper Carraway, and he fights off those offensive linemen. Another kid to keep an eye for. Next one. I'm sick and tired of talking about this kid. Ethan Curl, Paris. The kid is the real deal. He's a tackling machine. He makes the play. He is definitely one of those kids that deserves a lot more respect. Ethan Curl out of Paris, unbelievable talent. Um, very impressed overall, especially with what he's been able to do all three seasons. Um, and he started his freshman year. He made a big name for himself. But Ethan Curl, definitely one of those kids. Next one, Blake Savino of Glombardi East. Very impressed with overall his mental IQ and his ability to get the tackle. Um, really like his pursuits, his pursuit too. Um, very good with his pursuits. Um, and very rare do you see that, especially for a junior linebacker. But he's one of those kids to keep an eye out for. Next one, uh, Tim Wessels, Harlem. And this is a kid that's been highly talked about, especially when I talk with college coaches. Again, it's a wait and see project with him. He's going to be a late, uh, a little bit of a late project. Very interested to see, especially um, his on-field IQ. I think that's going to be that's going to be one of the things to look at, especially the first four games. Um, and he's got the athleticism down to a T. Um, coverage great too. He had a couple few breaks, but definitely could keep an eye out for. Next one, and I owe an apology to this man. I thought he was a senior last year. Uh, he is not. He is a senior next year, coming up next year, class of 2024, Ethan Hogg, Lyle Academy. Uh, I've been talking about this guy. I talked about him last year because I thought he was in a senior class. I apologize. But Ethan Hogg, Lyle Academy, overall has a shot to be the number two linebacker in the state of Illinois. Um, very impressed with this man, especially with those last games. Uh, the, I think it was the last game. The last game was against the... Uh, Trying to think, it was Brother Rice. So Mount Car I think it was Brother Rice and Mount Carmel. Very no, I, I I got it wrong. I forgot. <laughs> I'm just gonna say I forgot. But he had an unbelievable play, especially uh, there was reading. He was reading uh, the read option. Did a wonderful job. Stuffed it. Ethan Hogg from Lyle Academy is the real deal. Connor Sullivan, Casey Westfield, small school stud, unbelievable. Uh, especially town, especially with his ability to take on blockers. Very impressed with this young man. Um, he's going to be a small school a player that you got to keep an eye out for. Matt Murphy, Naperville North. Un-freaking believable. Because I know there were some tackles where the people got the jerseys numbers wrong. It was on some, I think it was on some game film or whatever. But Matt Murphy's been making plays for a long time. Very impressed with this young man. He's going to be one of those late mergers. And again, Naperville North, they usually have one or two linebackers every year. But Man Murphy is the real deal. Next one, small school star, Chase Lit uh, Litweiler. He's got the size. He's got the athleticism. The dude is unbelievable. Very impressed with this young man. Um, Chase uh, Litweiler, I apologize if I uh, massacre last names. I apologize. Um, from Olympia. He has done a wonderful job, especially with his his stock among college coaches, he keeps on rising. He's going to get some offers, but just an absolute small school stud. Grady Costanzo, prospect. 
Grady, for some reason, I keep thinking this kid graduated, has already graduated, but he hasn't. I, I, I'm an idiot. I apologize. But Grady Costanzo to me from Prospect, unbelievable, unbelievable pursuit, unbelievable on-field IQ, one of the top five in the state of Illinois. Like I was talking to uh, one of the college coaches said to me, has a shot, it has a real good shot at being a top 10 linebacker, especially in the Midwest. It all depends on his development, especially when we get into the first uh, the first four, four half games of the season. But Critty Costanzo is the real deal. Next one, a very interesting kid. Has the shot to take, take the reins to be number one. <coughs> Canary Chandler, out of Kankakee, Saw his game film was unbelievably, of unbelievably blown away. Again, sideline to sideline speed, awareness, excitement to play linebacker. There's a lot of linebackers that don't have that excitement that want to play linebacker. He's got that excitement, and he'll knock you on your ass. Canaria Chandler is the real deal. Next one, Marcian uh, Cohen out of Simeon. Again, another, I swear Simeon's becoming a linebacker factory. But uh, Marcinian uh, Cohen, another highly looked at linebacker, a great with his coverage ability. Very impressed. Very impressed with his ability to sniff out plays. He is an absolute star. Next one, underrated, and I know it's Lyle Academy, but Jack McGrath. Keep an eye out for Jack McGrath. I'm telling you that right now. He gets the job done. Again, he brings that lunch pail to work every every uh, Friday night or Saturday because they play some games Saturday. But Jack McGrath out of Loyola Academy. Next one, another big star from Geneva, Tommy Diamond. I forgot which one's uh, also plays a little bit of defensive line, but Tommy Diamond is another star in the making. Geneva has a great defense that's scary for the Duquesne Conference. Tommy Diamond. He'll knock the snot out of you. Very impressed with this young man and his overall athleticism. Him and uh, Di Leonardo, uh, just unbelievably impressed with Geneva so far, especially on that defensive side. Next one, Ben Starman out of Glenbard West. Very impressed with this young man. Um, like to see, again, more on the strength side. Um, overall, very raw, especially on reading plays, but great pursuit. S again, He's going to be one of those kids that's going to, have to need to have a big season. But Ben Starman from Lombard West is another kid you keep an eye for. Next one, I love this kid. Undersized, but just an absolute missile. A destroyer of offenses. Brandon Flanagan of Nazareth Academy. He does it all. He gets the job done. That's the only one of the things that you, as a defensive coordinator, a defensive coach that you want to see is a kid that gets it done, doesn't doesn't complain. It's just an absolute destroyer of offenses. Brandon Flanagan out of Nazareth Academy. He's undersized, I know, but he gets the job done, and he's not afraid of a six four, six five, six six lineman because he'll because he'll fight to get to get to that ball carrier. Brandon Flanagan, the real deal. Next one. Ben Alvarez, Yorkville, again. We talk about uh, athletic linebackers, and this is a very good thing for hi uh, hybrid, um, especially when we get uh, when we get towards uh, the linebackers going into uh, going into more of that hybrid defense, um, and especially when we get more into that um, <laughs> the three three uh, and the four two, especially the, with the two linebackers. Being asked more, asked more now to cover. This kid, Ben Alvarez out of Yorkville, is that kid. He is a hell of a player. FCS potential. Very impressed with his overall athleticism, um, overall technique, especially in pass coverage. Is he's a player to keep an eye out for. Next one, Christian Kuda, Naperville Central. Christian Kuda is unbelievable. He's been unbelievable this junior season. Very impressed with him. Um, I talked about him because uh, he I, he was brought to my attention uh, by my guy, Patrick Cotto of the DuPage Run and Shoot Show, who was talking to me about Christian Kudo. 
And I have been completely impressed with this young man. Um, he's going to get more offers. He is the real deal. He's going to be the big-time defender for Naperville Central this season. Next one, underrated, slept on, Liam Wiley. Warren Township. Warren Township is always good for two or three defensive playmakers. Liam Wiley is his name. He's going to be one of those kids, unbelievably talented. Um, very impressed overall with his ability to take on blocks. Liam Wiley is the real deal. Next one, Dominic Dixon. East St. Louis, unbelievable raw potential in this young man. Very, very raw. Very raw. Um, again, some of his pursuits a little bit on and off, but he has a chance, of, again, being a national spotlight linebacker that you got to keep a close eye out for. Next one, Tristan Hines, De La Salle, another underrated linebacker that you must know about. Has a shot to be in the top three linebackers. Again, to me, Tristan Hines is is that dude that we don't talk about till we get into the summer camp season of June and he starts getting offers out of nowhere. Tristan Hines is that kid. And De La Salle is very much improving. So Tristan Hines is a kid that you want to keep an eye out for. Um, overall, great frame, tremendous speed, unbelievable speed, um, and great on-field IQ. Next one, another big-name linebacker. Uh, top three linebacker in the state of Illinois could, and is starting to hit that national spotlight. Parker Starts out of Mount Carmel has been unbelievable. Parker Starts to me, again, unbelievable with his reads. Great on-field IQ. Great, great speed to the ball, especially um, his ability. Um, it's going to kill me. I forgot. Uh, it's going to kill me. His, uh, sorry, his pursuits. In his pursuit, um, especially, and again, knows the play, sniffs it out, and gets to it very fast, very quickly. A lot of linebackers, they they do that, they they stutter or that. He doesn't do that. Very fluid in his movements. Jack Leisure, Marmion Academy, another underrated player too. Marmion Academy, for some reason, has two defensive players that can't just fall under the radar. Jack Leisure is one of them. Kid that you got to keep an eye out for. Um, unbelievably uh, talented, especially with his frame. Still, you can still see that he's growing into his body, but another kid to keep an eye out for. Bryce Harrison, East St. Louis. Tackling machine. Another national spotlight player that's going to be national spotlight coming up. <coughs> he's, he, he, it's East St. Louis. What do you expect? It's a, it's a factory. Bryce Harrison is that dude. Kid that you must keep an eye out for. And especially when we get into that June and July season. Dalton Brown, Edwardsville. Underrated. Under, he's flying every, under everyone's radar. Dalton Brown, to me, could be a key factor in recruiting when we get into early fall. Especially at the FCS level. Dalton Brown, he just keeps making plays. So definitely good to keep an eye for. All right, let's get to defensive backs. And we get into defensive backs and, uh, yeah. A little bit disappointing. Uh, I'm not going to lie, um, just <sighs> and there's going to be names that are going to be added weekly, monthly, make sure I have your information on it, uh, email me, coachbigpdfp at gmail.com, very disappointed with a lot of defensive backs, not the defensive backs that, I me that I'm mentioning, that I'm going to mention, a lot of defensive backs, just poor technique, hips everywhere, um, just giving away Literally, wide receivers just running straight through them. Just a horrible technique, um, especially on their man coverage. Unbelievably bad. Really bad. Um, and you can see it for the points that have been scored around the IHSA. But <sighs> very unimpressed with the safeties this year. Very unimpressed with the safeties. Um, the things might change where a wide receiver might go to safety, like I talked about, especially on the defensive line where we have seniors that come in, um, but just iffy. It, we have great defensive backs in this class, no doubt about it. But it it's just, again, another top-heavy class. We, um, <coughs> sorry about that. Jordan Suggs out of Old Fallon. He's been getting offers. Again, he's still not getting respect. I believe he deserves national spotlight. He's the real deal. Charles Mills, he's getting offers. Mount Carmel, 
very impressive overall speed, highly athletic, um, good with his reads, um, especially, especially hip tracing on those wide receivers, um, and uh, definitely reads the quarterback. Charles Mills is one of them. Next one, a little bit of a surprise. Uh, I like him at safety. Tyson uh, Jabukowski. Dr- uh, Dr- <laughs> I'm going to use, I apologize. Uh, J- uh, Jugowitz, I apologize. I butchered last names. I'm the cookie monster. Marion Central Catholic, um, underrated. Definitely a kid that you got to check out. Makes plays. Um, and again, he's uh, he's one of those guys, he, he's just always by the ball. So, kid to keep an eye out for. Next one. Small school stud that you must know about. He just got his first offer. He's going to keep getting more offers. Jamari West on Chicago Hope Academy. He has been unbelievable. A technician. Great on-field IQ. <clears throat> One of the highest in this in defensive back class. Jamari West is the real deal from Chicago Hope Academy. Do not sleep on him. He is that player. He is the real deal. Um, Tyrone Kennedy Jr. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting some frogs in my throat. Tyrone Kennedy Jr. out of Kankakee. Unbelievable and talented. Still very raw. Could hit that national spotlight. He's that dude. He is definitely that dude. He is going to be a case playmaker this summer. Kept the keep down for Khalil Nichols. OPRF. Another kid that's under the radar. But he it, once he hits this summer tr- uh, camp circuit, his name is going to be on everyone's lips. Kaylee, uh, Khalil Nichols is definitely a player that you got to keep an eye out for. Next one, Corin Greenwall, St. Francis. He scored out in my top 30 percentile for defensive backs. A lot of defensive backs were very low. Corin Greenwall is one of those dudes. I love his frame. Still raw, especially on his back foot. But we'll see what happens. But Corin Greenwall is the real deal. Devin Reynolds out of Carmel. Carmel's got two great defensive backs, by the way. Just to let you know. But Devin uh, Reynolds, highly athletic, very impressed. Um, I forgot. I think it was the first two. It was the second or third. I'm um, second or third game where he was. I was very impressed, um, and he allowed no passes. He is going to be something special. Devin Reynolds out of Carmel. Uh, Taylor Powell, East St. Louis. He's already got some offers. He's going to get more offers. Um, highly. Highly sought after defensive back. One of the best in the Midwest. Um, it could be a top 20 recruit in the Midwest. I consider him a, a unbelievably talented. To me, he's still very raw and, a, and the sky's the limit. Next one, Mako Grant, Kenwood. I consider one of the more polished DBs in the state of Illinois. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, especially with his ability to backpedal. Very impressed with his ability to read the pass and to read out the play and his hip tracing as well. Harlan May, Carmel. Another Carmel player that you got to keep a close eye out for. Not being talked about. It's going to get talked about more, especially when we get into the first three games of the season. Kind of another kid, especially when we look at, um, for DBs, um, College coaches looking at DBs that where offers fall through. Harlem is going to be one of those kids. Um, play it can also uh, very athletic again, a hybrid defensive back that a lot of people like to talk about. Jayon Jackson, East St. Louis, another big dog, East St. Louis DB. He is an unbelievable talent. <sighs> he is a man on his own island. That's how good this kid is. He's definitely a player that you got to keep an eye out for. He's going to be um, probably another player that's going to hit that national spotlight from East St. Louis. Austin Alexander, Marion Catholic. What more can be said about this kid? This kid's been talked about for two years ago. He continuously keeps getting better. But again, I see him another polished thing, and I see him. I see, I see him again. He's in that national spotlight. How good, how good does he want to be? That's that's going to be the most important thing. We will see what happens this season. Latra, uh, um, Leontre Bradford, East St. Louis, last one. Again, this is March 31st. More names will be added. East St. Louis. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Bradford has been unbelievable. He's been, been on everyone's watch list for a lot of years. Um, it, he, the dude just makes plays. He makes plays. I like his pursuit. Um, and I think the big thing is, the big thing to me is going to be his first three weeks. But he's a national, he's going to be in the national spotlight. I think he can crack that top 30 recruits in the nation. I think that he's, that he's that damn good. And I think that, again, a lot more East St. Louis players, we talk about East St. Louis a lot, but they still aren't getting respect that they deserve. They deserve a lot more respect than they're getting. So definitely keep an eye out for East St. Louis. All right, that is it uh, for the watch list. Defense watch list, again, more names will be added. Make sure you felt the deepest football recruiting questionnaire. Make sure I have your information. Again, it's absolutely free. Um, if you like my work, feel free to leave tip slash donation via PayPal, VMO link below. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Other videos have been posted about quarterback and that. Check it out on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, Coach Big Pete, and Deep Dish Football. This is Coach Big Pete of Deep Dish Football wishing you guys have a great and lovely day.